Now, myself, I would be a tomato because nobody knows if it's a veg. Because there's always that ongoing controversy: vegetable or fruit. So nobody knows what the hell I am. Okay. <laughs> no. The ongoing controversy. Yo, <laughs> shut up! I said this could be a serious conversation if it wanted to be. Okay, I'm just teasing you. Hey, Alex. <laughs> I think they're in your room. In oh. Because there's plenty next to your computer. I'm not putting that oh. on there. That's all right. I'll get them later. All right. Then. All right, Kyle. You done? Well, now I am. So. No, continue. Oh, ruined it. Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> we love oh, you, Kyle. Well, you don't love me. We love right. you very much. It's just, okay, tomato, your fruit, vegetable. Keep going. Fruit, vegetable. It's just. It's just like never defined. It's neither am I. I definitely see that. There you go. Okay. Any. Okay. When I was in youth group, we used to ask what our favorite sexual position was. <laughs> but I'm not going to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, sit down. There we go. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what youth group were you in? I was in Nifty Northeast. Okay, cool. All good. What were you in? Question. Were you in A? Well, you know, that wasn't like a big question. I was just wondering. So. Hmm. Any of you guys ever have like a defining moment in high school? Uh, defining how so? Just define like the rest of high school, maybe define your entire life. Hmm. Hmm. Good question. Okay. Jackie? I can't think of one. Can yeah. it be something that you're really proud of or that you did? Absolutely. Uh, running for treasury? In getting a speech and and uh, and, and uh, postering and everything like and d dealing with everything like that. Okay. Cool. Thinking. Thinking. Okay. Actually, thinking what year this was. Um. Okay. Uh, spring, 1996. Um. I'm on the. It's the first performance of my high school musical, Bonham. And uh, I was in the ensemble, and, oh, it's Jack. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack, we get, we need an interview with him. So we can hey, Jack. Just, my digital camera is broken. Don't even shoot no. that thing at me. Introduce yourself. Hi, Jack. Introduce yourself. Don't say that in the airport. Hi, Hi. how are you? I'm Jack. Where are you from? Jack, where are you from? La La Land, New Jersey, Bayonne. Bye. Bye. Okay. Everywhere in Jersey, Back La La Back to Barnum. So, all right, so I'm in the ensemble, mm -hmm. and uh, and the last number is called Join the Circus, and everybody's on stage for that. It's the big number, and I happen to be on top of this drum. It's like it's like a drum with like this with like a wooden top and like this big colorful like star on the top, and I'm on top of that, and I'm juggling because I got the because I learned how to juggle, and they said, why don't you juggle? So I was doing that, and at the end, you got like you end up with your hands like this. Like, like superstar. No. Uh, See, so I end up with your hands like this, and my eyes were closed as the song ends. And then I opened my eyes, and everybody's cheering. And I thought, wow, this is like the most amazing head rush I've ever had. So I just thought that was really cool. cool. That's my defining moment. Right. Cool. Go back. Did to you guys song. get any yet? Yeah, I got one. Okay. It was. Although, though, he, his gave me another one though. That reminded me of something, though. I don't know if that'd be a defining moment, but certainly a story to tell. But my defining moment would have to be last year, uh, last April, or 21st, actually, or April 20th, whatever. As I went to the city council of my city to, pro to inform them and uh, talk about age discrimination. There are certain stores in my town that were discriminating, they had like policies of. Um, limiting the number of students allowed in there. So I went online and found a law that made that illegal. And I researched that and I like went to the talk to the store owners and I went to city council and they did a, a newspaper article on me and I got on the, the TV news. And I actually won that battle because all the stores took down their signs. So that was a defining moment hopefully for the rest of my career in life. So. Jackie? I got nothing. Oh. Tom? Do you have a defining moment of your life, like in high school? Yeah, I do have a defining moment. 
a defining moment actually was a track event in indoor track where we were running against a uh, another team called Valley Regional, the w Warriors, and largely on uh, my effort that day, we won. Uh, it ended up that we were in many tight races, and first race I ran was the 4x8 relay, where uh, we were second behind this team, and I trounced their last runner at the end. That was fun. I enjoyed that very much. Then the second race was the mile. Uh, I didn't win that race. The guy from East Hampton won it, but they had another guy from Valley ahead of me. Again, I uh, trounced him. That felt really good because he was a drug addict, <laughs> and I don't like losing the drug addicts. And then um, we didn't beat them in the next one, but it ended up that we were winning the 4x4, four four, but one of our guys fell, so we went from first place to last place. Then we slowly got up, and it ended up we ended up finishing second, but we had gone from first to last, then back up to second, and if it was a little bit longer, we would have got first. Did I hear anything yet? Builds a lot of character. Big character builder. Mine's uh, almost exactly the same, except right, that it's similar. Ask Carrie. So, so, well, oh. Let Carrie answer her little defining moment, because I'm sure she's got a few. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, yeah, okay. Carrie? All right. My defining moment happened basically at the beginning of my junior year, and I joined the marching band as a color guard, you know, one of the fly people. And I was not really thrilled about being in there, but I wanted to, you know, a bunch of my friends were in there and stuff. It turned out to be one of the best things I've ever done because I met some of my closest friends in that group, and I met a group of people that I really identified with for once, people that I could really trust. And I met my first real, you know, true love boyfriend type thing. But the time when at the mo he's not my boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> it's far from my boyfriend. But um, the first time I noticed that I like really belonged in this group was we went to our first competition and we just performed like our hearts out. And we were going up against like four other bands and two of them were well known private schools that spent a lot of money on the music department. Our school did not. And we made it into third place and we just felt so wonderful but before we found out what place we were in we run off the field and we're all hugging and kissing everyone everyone was just such a big family and I realized this is where I need to go on and that kind of defined like the rest of my high school career and now my friendships back home the, well yeah, the one I the question I was gonna ask is very similar but it's um instead of your most favorite accomplishment what's the most special or your most happiest memory and I'm talking not just high school and now, I'm talking about your whole life. Your whole life. Could be like when the two or anything. Well. Hey. I'm thinking, give me a minute. Right. Haven't you realized that? Okay, I'll get I'll get the ball rolling. I've got one. Alright. Uh, Alright. Uh Take you back. Then. <laughs> actually, we'll go back to that same. We'll go back to that same year. Actually, 1996 summer. I was uh, I was traveling on a boat from Greece, and uh, I know what this is. I know you know what this is. This was actually this was actually the story that I used with for uh, my college essay, which I'm very proud of. I'm very proud of the essay that I wrote for this. Um, I took off from a boat to Greece, and uh, we are reenacting a voyage. In Voyage known as the Exodus, which I don't know if anybody knows, but it's it's a historical thing from uh, from the uh, midst of the uh, revolution of Israel and the uh, what's the, the independence of Israel, and uh, we were reenacting it, and so therefore we were. I'm up here. Uh, <laughs> I have this. Don't worry. I don't know. It looked like the camera's pointing down. For don't, me. don't worry. I have it. <laughs> I don't know what you were looking at. <laughs> No, no worries. That's all right. Okay, and uh, so on, we were making our way to Israel, which we were going to port in uh, Haifa, and on the way we were being uh, stopped by quote-unquote attacker ships and planes and stuff like that, like throwing leaflets from the air saying, turn around or you will be fired upon, or the, there'd be ships around us, many of them actually warships, that uh, kind of intimidated us, 
and there was this one ship that actually came so close, but it turned out it had tourists on it. They were going, have a great trip! But, uh, <laughs> but uh, along the whole trip, when we finally got to the port of Haifa, it was the biggest celebration I've ever seen within so many, just so many people. And we were all on one boat, and the entire boat was in an uproar, and I was going crazy, all of my friends were going crazy, and uh, we had made it to the Holy Land, and that was definitely one of the happiest memories I've ever had in my whole life.